486 games, 117 goals. Nairon Clunis returning to champion Hill for one game only, testimonial. Yeah. How proud are you of getting this achievement, Nairon? Um, yeah, it's an honour to be fair. Um, it's something I've been looking forward to for a while. Obviously, you know, it was meant to be around 2020, but obviously COVID got in the way. So it's something that I feel is long overdue. Um, and I just can't wait to celebrate with all my old teammates and all the fans that support me over the years. Back in the changing room here, I mean, yeah. I mean the memory, memories must be coming back already. You must have so many great memories of this place. Oh yeah, great. It's, it's, it's changed though, but yeah, it's still some good memories that were here. Talk about the beginning of your career before yeah. Dulwich. What was it like in the early years of Nairon Clunas' career before Dulwich came into your life? That's a very long time ago. Um, I've been here even through youth team, so I didn't really have much football before Dulwich. I was at uh, Fisher Athletic for a while, which is still ran by the management of Gavin and Caddy. But um, I used to just play football in the park, really around my area. I played for a local team called Peckham All Stars. Uh, and that was it really, Dulles is literally the first stepping stone of serious football. And Dulles, I think, snapped you up about 14 years of age, I think, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, so 14, 15. You yeah. broke into the first team as a very young man. Mm. What are your memories of those early years? Because it was obviously Gavin and Junior's early years at the club as well. Yeah, of course. Um, it, it, was, it was an honour, to be fair, because a lot of the players that I was playing with at the time were much older than me. And I was only like, it was just me and probably two others from the youth team that were playing with those grown men at that time. So I was like, wow, I must be good in their eyes to be playing with them. So yeah, it was, it was good playing at that age, at 17. And I mean, 10 seasons, at yeah. any club in a professional level is almost unheard of. Non-league, mm. very, very rare yeah. in particular. What is it about Dulwich Ham that made you want to stay year in, year out? It's, it just felt at home, to be honest with you. Felt like family. Um, Gavin Caddy made me feel like I was at home. Um, the supporters here were lovely. Everyone that worked with the club were just lovely people. And it feels like my local team as well. So I just wanted to push this team as far as I could. Gavin Cads had a huge impact on your career, not just a young man, but throughout the majority of your career. He played most of your career games under them too. Mm. What was it like playing for them and how much do you owe them? It, it was it was a roller coaster playing with them. Uh, it's, it's different emotions. Um, they taught me, they taught me so much things. Uh, I.e., like even even if if I win football games to this day and I haven't played well, the team hasn't played well. I still have a particular standard that makes me upset, even though we ain't won the game. I mean, even though we did win the game, I'm still upset because we didn't play well. And I know if we continue playing this way, we ain't gonna go very far. So they've taught me so much different disciplines in football and I owe them a lot. And under them, two promotions, yeah. two very special memories. Talk yeah. to me about the 2013 side first. Yeah. What was it about that team that made them so special and were able to win the championship against Maidstone that year? Uh, yeah, we had the little Turkish fan in there, didn't we? Yeah, we had Erhan in there. It was a special team. Uh, was we, we, had, we was blessed with so much things. We had the youth, we had uh, me, Kshaney, Jab was in the team. Calvin at the time, uh, and then we, we had a blend of experience. So we had Francis Duke, we had Peter, Willow, Carps, Gab was playing sometimes, Caddy, Kevin, that was just a good blend of uh, different type of people. And um, I just feel like we was we was just too good that, that year, so we had to win it. And what do you remember about that season? Because it was a real humdinger of a battle with Maidstone that whole year, wasn't yeah, it? And, it was. and in particular, do you have memories of that Burgess Hill game still? Yes, I do. I had anxiety at half time because we was losing. So I was like, Ooh, are we going to get promoted today or not? But um, yeah, the battle with Maystone was, was, was a big battle. I think, I think we won away, to be honest. I can't really remember. I think so, yeah. But it, it was a good battle, yeah, yeah. But I think we deserved to go out there, yeah, by being champions. Because either side of that, mm. you know, the word playoff and Dulwich Hamlet didn't have a very good Not history and nah. it took until 2018 to then get mm. to the next level yeah. again another great side that you were part of. Mm. You know, talk to me about that team. That team, uh, we, yeah, we just, that, uh, that midfield, that midfield is great. Uh, I think any good team has a great midfield. Uh, we had so much experience in there, so much technique in there. We had the pace up front. Uh, solid backline to be fair. We kept a lot of clean sheets that year. Um, yeah, it's a special blend of players once again. And when you win things with particular players, it's people you never forget. 
and it was a, a real roller coaster off the pitch as well because we were playing that player final at two teams yeah, of, course, at two of all places. Yeah. You know the penalty yeah. shoots that you weren't on the pitch at that that stage, no. but what were your emotions watching on? Because you'd had a great season, you scored twenty odd goals that year as well, yeah, and you'd yeah, won yeah. everything in the end the season awards, yeah, hadn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now I couldn't watch. Uh, I didn't watch the post winning until the highlights. So uh, I was looking away because um, obviously, as you said, we ain't really had much luck in the playoff department. So. But I felt like it was our time. Yeah. You're now going to be representing both that 2013 side mm -hmm. and the 2018 team mm -hmm. when uh, the game takes place on May the 7th. How much mm -hmm. are you looking forward to welcoming your old teammates down and having a, a big old celebration with all of them? Yeah, I can't wait. I ain't seen a lot of them for a few years. Like the more the 2013 side, I ain't seen a few of them. But it'll be great to to catch up, see what everyone's doing now. Um, yeah, just to see everybody again. I think it will be a great atmosphere. Even seeing everybody that's involved in the club, seeing them again, will be something that's special. Now, the two promotions are obviously going to be very high up in your top um, memories of being at Dulwich. But mm. aside from those two, what mm. other things stand out in your memories as being really great moments here? Um, I would say... the I think my best match... Ever was the Billy Ricky away match, the season we got promoted. That was a, that was a fantastic match, and I felt like it lived up to the expectation of us two facing each other. That was a great, great game. Um, and any other special moments? To be fair, even that season again away at Folkestone, the last game of the season, I, f I feel like that just put the biggest marker down to show that we ain't we ain't playing games this year. Like we won a team that's meant to be in and around us, and we just swept them so that was a good moment for me um reaching 100 goals was a great what do you remember time. about that night uh i remember the celebration this, i forgot you ran up to me that's all ran up to me just doing the 100 sign so yeah i remember that uh and the goal itself was good it was a good run for me i'm glad it wanted to happen so um yeah there are a few of my my moments that i remember would that Billericay game, if you could go back and play in one game again, yeah. would it be the Billericay game? Or was there any other game you think, actually, I'd love to have a go, just rewatch that or just playing it over and over again? That's a good question. Um, yeah, that may be made stone away. Maybe. I forgot yet, yeah, was there so long ago? Um, I scored, four, I scored four, a great three game, goal. I think, was it away? I think so. I scored a great goal. I ran for like the halfway line. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, them two games, I'd say. And is that, is that your favourite goal? If you could pick one from the 117, which would be your favourite from your time? You asked me questions I've never thought of before. Uh, yeah, the Billy Ricky goal. Yeah, going around the goalkeeper. I'd say that's my, it's my favourite goal. And the celebration that I did made it a better goal. Yeah. And just finally, in terms of the May the 7th itself, mm. any messages you want to pass on to the fans and, and thank them for their mm. support to you down the years? Oh, no, 100%. I, don't, I want to thank all of them, the new and old supporters, because when, when I was first here, there weren't a lot of people coming to support. And I feel like through the years of me being here, the crowds just grew and grew and grew and it became such a family-based club. Like Even after the games, we'd be upstairs in the bar for ages just drinking talking to all sorts of fans and yeah so i just want to thank everybody that was there during my time here and i hope to hope you're all there